Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, I'm going to review this Montane Minimus trail running jacket. I, I really love this jacket. I needed a waterproof jacket for when I was uh, racing out trail running, doing a bit more adventure running now, and I needed something for that. And I had, let me grab it. So I had this Gore C5, which is uh, it's made with a um, shake dry. It is really good, but it's cycling specific. Doesn't have a hood, doesn't have side pockets, can't use it with a backpack, and it's super expensive. And so it wasn't really cutting it on the trails. So I went and I looked for something that did all those things. So it had a hood, had pockets, was more of a trail running jacket, could be used with backpacks. And also I wanted something that was more visible because shake dry is always in black. And so I found this Bontane Minimus jacket and I really love it. I, it's just such a lovely jacket. Like it feels nice, this, oh. Obviously you can't appreciate it through a video, but it feels great. Then you get it in nice color, so you can get it in this bright red. They also do it in a blue, and I think another color, maybe a black as well. Sizing is fairly generous, so compared to like the bike fit jackets that are a bit tighter, this has a bit more flexibility. Waterproofing seems really nice so far and it's got it's got a hood it's got pockets and this hood comes with this rigid brim and it's got like a like a adjustable wire in there that you can shape around and you can also uh, adjust the hood so it's got a couple of here they are try and it comes down a little bit lower with my eyes but i can get that in i can zip it all the way up can stick my hands in my pockets and I'm nice and protected from the rain there. Pockets are a good size. It's got some nice little reflective detailing as well. In terms of breathability, it is pretty good. I've seen better, so in, in my experience, it's not quite as breathable as the gore shake dry stuff which is understandable because the, the shake dry stuff is is the two layer stuff whereas i think this is the two and a half but it is pretty good so compared to other things like my my old rain capes that were maybe a bit cheaper um this you do tend to get a bit of sweat on the inside if you're running in it in a warm day uh, but it takes it away from the skin quite nicely so that all works well and it packs down really small again not quite as much as maybe a bike specific one but if you're out trail running you've got like a little running pack then this is a really good option because it will go down nice and small so if you think shove that slightly bigger than my hand into my backpack it's really not going to take up that much space and it's just got it's got loads of little adjustable toggles here um, that I was worried might get in the way, but they haven't. Uh, taped seams, of course, so it'll comply with any mandatory kit. And yeah, it just it feels lovely. It's a lovely bright colour with the detailing. Uh, it's got a nice zip pockets. Basically, everything about it is just really nice. And I I was pretty annoyed when I had to buy it because I was like, well, I've got all these fancy cycling jackets. Why do I need a fancy running jacket? But I use this so much now, like even just for regular life, it packs down, shove it in your bag, you off to go in, I can stick it in my backpack, I can take it on, take it off, and uh, it just really works well as a jacket. It's got these little poppers, so if you want to have it open, you can have that there as well. So um, I, just, I just really like it. It's, it's a great, if you are looking for a trail running jacket, then the, the Montane Minimus, if you, can, if you can afford that, is a great option. Hopefully that was useful. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're into running, if you're into endurance sport, then hit that subscribe button because that's what my channel is all about. And I would love to see you in another video.